A lot of people have been asking about the attribute system, which is the element system using in Wuthering Waves, asking questions such as, do the elements actually matter? And today I wanted to talk about that to give you some more insight onto how team building is going to work because team building is the main reason why these attributes are actually going to be important. So we'll talk about that, why certain teams actually work and how to use all this knowledge to your advantage when you actually go out to play the game. So the main reason that the elemental system is going to be important is because certain enemies are going to have resistance to other elements. So for a character like Gion, for example, when you're fighting the monkey boss, the monkey boss with a big pillar, and who summons like the little allies, you will not be able to do as much arrow damage to him because he has resistance to arrow. So you're gonna wanna use other characters for that boss fight instead. So those are gonna be the main reasons why certain teams will not work against certain bosses. So you're gonna have to consider that when team building and using what characters are actually going to be best for those boss fights. And in general, that is going to be the main use. However, another thing I would like to talk about is the use of mono element teams, which in a lot of cases will allow for boosting your own element damage because certain characters are able to give elemental bonuses to your entire team. And what this will allow for is synergies between specific characters. Now, not every character is going to give an elemental damage increase or a damage increase at all, but some certain characters will give an attack type increase to certain types of damage rather than certain elements of damage, right? Because there are different types of damage in the game and different types of attacks that you can do, such as heavy attacks, basic attacks, and stuff like that, which is going to be worth considering, or ultimate damage, skill damage, all of that stuff. We will definitely be getting characters who are able to buff all of those in the future. But for now, I want to talk about a couple of specific characters that are able to increase elemental damage and then characters that are able to increase attack type damage for specific stuff. So certain characters like Don Jin and Alto are going to be able to give buffs to their respective elements. So Don Jin is going to give a havoc damage bonus and then also is going to give an arrow damage bonus. So this is going to make Alto very good with arrow DPSs such as Jian and on the other side Don Jin who is a DPS is going to work very well with Tao Chi because Tao Chi is also able to buff her. So she's going to be doing more damage. Those two characters are both going to be buffing each other. They're both Havoc characters. So Tao Chi and Don Jin are going to be very good together for these reasons. Another example is going to be Alto, as we just mentioned, working with Jian. And there are some other characters who are able to work well with others, such as Verena and Bai Ji. But these characters are going to be more universal because they're able to work with characters by just increasing the damage overall that they do rather than boosting a specific element. So Baiji and Verena, just keep those names in mind. Those are going to be very good supports. They're definitely going to want to build. If you get a Verena, I know a lot of people aren't really too keen on using Verena just because of her model, but she is going to be one of the most strong characters in the game that a lot of people have been talking about. And if you've been following Wuthering Raves recently, you'll know Verena is able to provide a lot of healing, a lot of damage boost, and that's why she's going to fit into a lot of teams because of that. So on this topic, why I think this matters in the context of elements is because Yes, certain characters of the same element are going to work better together, but you're not going to be locked into elements 100%. It's mainly going to be based on, of course, like we talked about earlier, the damage resistance that enemies get. And that basically means mixed elements teams still work. Like, sure, you in some cases, you may be missing out on a bit of extra damage because you're not running two Havoc characters like Tao Chi and Don Jin together, right? But you can run Don Jin with other characters and still be able to play perfectly fine. Or you can even solo a lot of content with Don Jin or other good DPSs. And if you've seen a lot of the videos on YouTube recently uh, against the highest difficulties of hologram bosses, a lot of them have been solo with just one character or sometimes even two. And for Tower of Adversity, you've seen a similar thing where people are putting two characters in their sides instead of three characters. Because you can use three characters, but every time you use a character in Tower of Adversity, you lose energy for that character. So some people are starting to use two characters instead, meaning they only have to build six characters instead of the nine. So that means that elements aren't going to matter as much, right? Because you can just build two solid DPSs or a solid DPS, solid support, and then be able to clear a lot of the content. So while the elemental system in a lot of ways does matter, there are going to be things that make it matter a lot less than games such as Genshin, which is the game a lot of people are thinking of because it has elemental reactions and all of these interplays with all this stuff. But we only have intro and outro skills in this game that are really going to be boosting stuff. And there used to be a more complex elemental system, but they removed it from the game because it was too complicated because people didn't like it in general. Meaning that elements do matter in weathering waves, they don't matter as much as they used to in the past and as much as a lot of people think. And 
if you were to just pay attention to the resistances part of this, you will still be able to clear everything in the game with enough skill and enough time invested. So that's why I want to talk about in this video why the elemental system isn't as important as a lot of people think it is and why it still does have some weight to it, but just not as much as a lot of people have been thinking. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more Weathering Waves videos, I'll be making a couple of more videos, just giving some pre Weathering Waves release tips up until the game comes out. And then when one of the ring waves comes out, we'll be going hard with content videos every day to hopefully make you the best weathering waves player you can be and provide you the best information possible. We'll be making a guide on every single character. So if you want to see that, then see you then.